Justice Martha Kome has called on the 65 newly recruited resident magistrates to eliminate the backlog of cases and deliver justice in a timely manner. Elsewhere, a section of elders from the Sabaut community wants the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, NCIC, to take legal action on officials allegedly threatening Deputy Governor Philomena Kapkori safety. This and more in the country, county rather, news briefs. The move by Deputy Governor Philomena Kapkori to write to Governor George Natembea, informing him she will not be reporting to work over fears of her safety, has attracted the interest of Sabaut community elders who are now calling on NCIC to take action. Uyo Deputy Governor, hayuko kwa ofisi kwa sababu ya nini? Kwa sababu ametishwa maisha yake. Hako, hako katika mbioni kutoroka. Tunataka watu naomba serikali imweke huyo mtoto, imweke security ya kutosha. Sababu hapa saa hii hatuko na amani. In the meantime, the spouse of Deputy President Pastor Dorcas Rigadi has met players in the Matatu industry in a bid to dignify the lives of the boy child in the transport sector. And we are here to discuss how we can better their lives and how we can be able to change and transform these young people so that they can become men with the families, men who, are, uh, who have social status, and how even the world will start to see them in the different eyeglasses. Meanwhile, the government has issued a grace period of eight years ahead of the closure of all private orphanages. The government plans to facilitate orphans with shelter, education, and clothing through the Children's Society of Kenya. So we have enough time to wind up government institutions. Elsewhere, learners in public primary schools in Machakos County are reviving the reading culture in a bid to improve literacy levels in the region. Finally, under the auspices of Lenovo, underprivileged children in Kibera are set to benefit from a donation of stationery and Lenovo tablets that will enhance educational resources and promote digital literacy. We can make a greater impact to these kids and having access to technology. Um, we also heard that um, they need internet access. So uh, uh, I think from our side, we're going to try and see how we can support um, so, the, so the students can have access to technology, to digital um, literacy as well.